Hello and welcome to another video. I have seen questions like this on the internet everywhere, all kinds of modifications and um, sometimes just to pass time I take one of them and I try to solve it. But one major mistake you would make, like I made the very first time, was to try to find X or to find Y. This question is not designed for you to find X or Y. It is supposed to um, make you see the tricks that are available for you based on what you already know in simple, simple algebraic expansion or factoring. Okay, so do not make the mistake of trying to solve using the first two equations to find X and Y because you're going to get about four different answers and then you'll have to cube each of them and figure out which one actually gives you the answer you're looking for. So do not find X do not find why. What should you do whenever you get problems like this? All you have to do is ask yourself, I know this, I know this. How can I get this from what I know? Well, the only way you can get a cube from x and x squared is to multiply these two together. That's the only way. Even if this was skipped, it means you have to multiply this by itself three times to be able to get to x cubed. That's the reasoning. Okay, so don't try to solve just try to recreate. So let's try and see how, well, we know that when you multiply this by this, you don't just get this. You get this along with some other things, but let's see if we can find a way to resolve those things. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply this by this and see what I'm going to get. Okay, so we're going to say x plus y multiplied by x squared plus y squared, okay, must be equal to 3 times 5. 3 times 5. So I know on the right hand side I'm going to get 15. On the left hand side when I distribute I'm going to get x cubed plus x times... Um, this is going to be x, y squared, then this times this is going to be plus x squared, y plus y cubed. Oh, so at this point I know that my x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 15 minus these two. If I put both of these there, that's x, y squared plus x squared, y. Okay, I put in parentheses, otherwise I would use minus minus. So now, this is what I'm looking for. I already got a portion of it, but I'm just looking for this. Mm. Can I factor? Um, what is common to this and this? X, Y. Oh, I see. So I can actually rewrite this expression as 15 minus X, Y multiplied by, because X, Y is here, X, Y is here. If I take out X, Y here, I got Y. If I take out xy here, I've got x. So that's x plus y. Um, I think I've seen x plus y somewhere today. It's 3. <laughs> okay, it's beginning to look easy. So I know that x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 15 minus xy multiplied by x plus y, which is, so let me rewrite this as x plus y. Okay, and this gives me 15 minus xy times 3. Okay, well, that's 15 minus 3xy. Ooh, so now all I need to know is xy. Ah, uh, what is xy actually? Well, I don't know. So this is what you do. You're almost there. You just don't know what x, y is, but we can know what x, y is because there's a relationship between x plus y and x squared plus y squared that involves x, y. Remember? Remember this? So recall. Recall that if you do x plus y and you square it, okay? Generally, when you square x plus y, it's going to be x squared plus 2xy plus y squared or xy has shown up. So when you square this, it's going to be x squared plus y squared plus 2xy, okay? And what is x plus y? It's 3, so 3 squared 
equals it. Let me, let me rewrite it. So this is going to be x plus y times x plus y, okay? So this is x plus y, that's 3 times 3 equals, what is this? It's given, it's 5 plus 2xy. So we have 9 equals 5 plus something. Well, if 9, well, we have 9 equals 5 plus 2xy. That tells me that my 2xy is 9 minus 5, so I have 2xy equals 9 minus 5, which is equal to 4. Okay, so xy is what? It's 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2. So neatly, I've gotten xy to be 2. I'm going back here and saying this is 15 minus 3 times 2, which is 15 minus 6, which is equal to 9, and that's my answer. So don't try to find x, don't try to find y. This is all you have to do. Think of what numbers to combine, which ones to square or multiply by each other. What you're looking for is going to show up. Always. It always works. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped learning.